Welcome back everybody to my Let's Play walkthrough of Thymesia. We are here in part three. Let's go to work. And if you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so we can continue to do this. And leave me a comment down there and tell me how do you feel about the game? Have you played it yet? And what other games do you want to see on this channel? Let me know. So I see I have some points. Not sure. Last time I checked, I think I completed everything as far as leveling up. Yep. All my points should be good. Let's get to it. Let's continue the recall. So in the last part, we completed the subquest one and two. Let's see. For this part, God of the Fools, Odor began a massive project inspiration came from legend known to all in the sea the spirit of the sacred trees that descends upon the world to save the lowly one constructed from the branches of the sacred trees and powered by large amounts of vile blood so defeat god of the fools okay so what i want to do is actually go into the royal garden because we haven't been there yet and once we complete that maybe we'll backtrack and just complete looks like the final part of trees let's do it coming at us already. Okay, let's go right first. You want to do the double attack? execution I feel like it's a little loud give me one second Let's get back into it. All right, come on up, dude. Oh, try to get slick with it. anything there
Uh, decisions, decisions. Do we go left? Do we go right? Let's go left. Let's see what left has to offer us. Okay. Brought a friend. health back from these executions. Don't think I need to pop a potion yet. Oh, too far away. Shield upgrade. Okay. Let's see the complete dead end. Again. Let's hit him. Not bad, that's pretty good for a large group of enemies. Diary of the Unknown Soldier, number two. I thought that by joining the Knightly Order I could protect home and country outside the nation's borders. Besides standing guard and conducting patrols, I didn't expect to be delivering goods all day, let alone to be foul to that foul place known as the Sea of Fool. Fortunately, after having injected pure blood, I no longer fear the plague. So we here. Let's go back the, uh, actually, you know what? Let's collect this, which I missed. damage on that. Let me pop a potion group quick before I get carried away. I did not realize how close to death I really was right there. Got a lot of good, uh, a lot of good skill shards there. Switch to the halberd. Yeah, that did. 
much better damage. So it looks like the halberd's definitely a keeper. Um, I'm going to have to find another replacement for the axe. That doesn't seem to be doing what I needed to do. I did. Something on my sword. A pain in the ass to fight, but great execution at the end. See what I got. Experience researcher notebook 01. Collaborating with Emerald has been an incredible experience. It doesn't feel like we are researching together, rather, it's more like she's teaching us. Initially, we were just following her instructions, creating equipment that we had never seen before. It's not just alchemy that has caused Hermes to become so powerful. side.
Very nice. I didn't even know I could do a different move. Sure. Yeah, let me go ahead and hit the again. First. We have a lot of memories. Let's use those. Level up a bit. Definitely unlocked. Shield. Scythe. Great sword. The blood blade. Let's see. Sort of try. Place of the axe. I really didn't like the shield, but then again, I didn't really that much. But I have enough to upgrade it, so might as well. Casting potion. Let's up this. Lastly, let's level up. Take. Yeah, let's take Plague up because I have been using a lot more of my Plague powers now. Talent. Law. Gives me armor. Okay. Corvus. Okay. Hmm. So the real question is: Do I want to go with? You know what? That's actually pretty cool. I'll take that. When I get down to, if I get lethal hit, if I have a potion, I can automatically use it. Yep. And it gives me one last shot. health. Oh! Facing the wrong way. Okay. This is a bad spot. Oh. 
pop this potion. Hey, let me deal with you now. Oh no! Ugh. You are a real pain. Okay, Folk Potion Research Report 01. After Hermes Kingdom began its alchemy research, folk, folk medicinal concoction began to appear in great numbers. Majority of nonsensical, but a small majority of the formulas after experimental testing have been shown to be surprisingly effective. For example, mixing rosemary, thyme, and so on and so forth. Should have really popped a potion before I jumped in here. Go ahead. Oh. Gotta dodge that. I'm sure, she doesn't heal. Straight up dead end. Just got the mint ingredient. And I guess I got the uh, the lore or the pieces that I needed. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, another beacon. Perfect. Oh, no, this is back the way I came, isn't it? Double check. Make sure I'm not missing any. I went this way. Let me hit that beat. I'll make a right. Okay. Great that. Let's, let's get the slot. So I can either do some more. I can do an energy restore. That would be helpful. Now let's go for. Should I go double health? No, let me go with some energy. Alright, good. Alright, let's go back down this path. Can't open that yet. Let's handle this guy.
Oh. I missed my last dodge. Alchemy Research Notebook Number 2. The ineligible handwriting is difficult to decipher. Injecting a tiny amount of vile blood into an organism will not only affect its vital functions, but if certain amount is exceeded, the effects will nearly I mean effects will be nearly impossible to control. I care? Elevator, can't go up the stairs. Let's see what else we can find down here. Oh, another one of these guys. Now use my greatsword again. Oh yeah, the great sword's definitely a keeper. Greenhouse procurement order. In response to the new equipment, Central Authority calls for the swift procurement of the following items: stone, griffin eagle, passenger pigeon, mountain tiger. However, please be aware that the ep Epidemic is still apparent, so all relevant tests must be conducted in full. Glad he waited to attack me when I finished reading. <laughs> Got something else here? Alchemy Research Notebook number one. The ineligible handwriting is difficult to decipher. Take the blood of the infected as raw material. Perform the following steps. After removing the vile blood that remains is pure blood. Beware, vile blood is highly contagious and any biological organism that comes in con into contact with it has the possibility of infecting and mutating. And mutation. That's a boss fight down there. Let me head down here first. Oh, nothing here. <laughs> Introduction to Alchemy. A water-soaked book with only a few recognizable words remaining. Alchemy is the area of science that researches the natural nature of objects. All things can be divided into smaller units until they can no longer be divided. These units may contain properties that are completely different from their source.
Oh yeah, these smaller blood guys are gonna be a, a pain. to him because they were getting in my way. Well, as far as this game goes, he wasn't too bad. His little minions were more of a nuisance than anything else. Alchemy Research Notebook number three. Same thing. Strange phenomena occur when vile blood and pure blood are injected into an organism at the same time. Crystallization and a and a drastic increase in size are seemingly unavoidable side effects. Is there a way I'm missing to go over here, or is this just a flat out dead end? That way. Don't seem to be missing anything. Oh, this guy again. Emerald. Orvis, do you have something you want to ask? Yeah. Can't believe Odor's research has made such progress. Showed not to have wasting his time on the sideshow act. Should have not wasted his time on the sideshow act. If he had came to study under me, he could have probably become even greater research than as me. Transformation report. Transformed are so interesting and are such challenging research material. Using the infected as carriers, we use alchemy to grant them new life. A very interesting concept, though interspecies fusions are required, and that is no easy task. The successful case were few and far between. Corvus, you were one of the lucky few ones. Oh, so I'm an experiment. Upon discovering that giant tree trees could absorb the plague, we began to go in entirely new direction. But no matter what we tried, the human body always rejected lifeless foreign objects. In serious cases, fatal antibodies could even be produced. So we began to experiment on animals. The results were fantastic. There are many animals that can increase the resistance to the plague. Then I thought, why not take a mixture of cells from both the so-called sacred trees and animals and implant them into the human body? Wow, okay, so I am the transformed. Let's go. Last page of the research journal. Uh, don't know what happened. There was a loud noise and then a giant hole appeared in the roof of the central greenhouse amid the green piercing. Oh, I thought he was going to wait like the last guy. All right, just rude. first. 
just to make sure. Oh, perfect. There's a beacon here. Tell you one thing, just going through the game, you get so much level up. I feel like my strength as far as my saber attack has been pretty good. My plague damage has been great. Yeah, let's go with health. Plague whip. The whip. Oh, I don't have enough to complete the halberd. Uh, I need to find more greatsword guys so I can boost that up. Energy on saber attacks can be useful. I'll save it. Almost done with the general potion. I got that one guy that attacked me while I was re. here and see what we got. Boss battle time. how you move. Okay, you got a projectile attack. Too bad. Oh, so I see now. The Hanged Queen can just go ahead and recharge completely.
crap. Okay. Keep the pressure on. now oh get out of there charge attack is super annoying ah. okay so the revival potion only works once oh I should have popped a potion beforehand but that wasn't too bad
Nope. Drop it early. Oh, that I know that would have been it. That's what I'm talking about. Not even let it get to that phase where it can do that charge attack. That is the key. And that broadsword was putting in so much work. Yeah, it seems like this is all that happened. Very nice, we got the achievement for the... And we unlocked the uh, fast acting potion. Very nice. Let's keep it moving. Let's just talk to her. Do our upgrades. Vitality was actually pretty good during that fight. Energy to be pretty good too. Raw damage. It's only going to take. My attack damage doesn't get any higher at this point. It's just wound. So let's go with. Let's go with. There you go, because it seems like it's steering you more towards using your plague weapons than your actual saber at this point. Yeah, I've, I don't know why I haven't even upgraded my dodge. That more than anything else. Let's see, unlocked. Bloodstorm. Turn plague energy to health. That's interesting. That if we come across a certain type of boss. Yes, the fact that the fast acting potion. Five. Uh, recover instantly. 50% health and energy recovered effective. But the number of potions has increased significantly. Okay. So it only gives me half the health, but I can carry more. All of these, this is the only one that can't be upgraded because I need three. I mean, unless my health gets a lot higher, I feel like I'm pretty good with these. Who knows, I might be wrong. But for right now, I'll just save it up. So, what I'm going to do is, just thinking about that, let me wrap it up here. And then in the next part, we're going to... Actually, let's take a look at what could possibly be in the next part. Oh, okay, so we got the Hermes Fortress, and we got the sub-quest. So probably in the next part, I will knock out um, God of the Fools and the subquest for the Royal Garden. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time for more Thymesia. Peace.